What happens if your Hawaii real estate transaction is delayed and you can't close on time? We'll talk about that coming up next. Hey, what's going on friends? This week we're gonna talk about real estate transaction closing timelines and what happens if you're delayed. So the whole closing process, the timeline is spelled out in section F of your purchase contract and section F2 specifically identifies when your closing date will be. Typically in Hawaii, it's between 30 and 60 days. You can close with cash 30 days, sometimes a little bit faster if escrow companies are not very busy but if you're gonna have financing normally it's gonna be closer to 45 or 60 days so you have time to get your appraisal in place and all of the loan processes in order so it varies depending on what type of transaction you're doing but you're gonna specify in that section F2 exactly what your closing date is going to be I like to put into that section a date based off of when it's accepted so instead of putting in a hard date I like to put in 30 days from acceptance 45 days from acceptance and that way that date will move based on when both parties agree and solidify the contract because if you put in a hard date and then it takes five days or a week to go back and forth and come up with the terms that are agreeable agreeable to both parties now you've lost five to seven days in your timeline and you may have to extend based upon that so it's always preferable to put in a date based on acceptance 30 days from acceptance so you know you have 30 full days or 30, 60 full days from the time when both parties accept that contract but very often like most things in life there are delays there's a lot of things that may be outside of your control there may be the appraisal takes too long or the termite inspection takes too long or a myriad of things that could happen in a real estate transaction where you don't close on time. And so you have a couple of different options. The first one is everybody can agree to an extension. So if both parties agree that, okay, this is delayed and we need a little bit more time, it could be the seller. The seller could need more time to move out of the home or whatever the case is. You can both draft up an amendment and have both parties sign and amend section F2 and move that date out to a further date. We also had some have some standard forms that can automatically move that closing date out into the future and both parties sign it. The other way is very unique. There's only one part of the entire Hawaii purchase contract where one party can execute and change the contract and that is section F3 of the purchase contract and that is an automatic right to extend. So in section F3 it, add, it lays out two different options F3A which is an automatic right to extend and then F3B which is time is of the essence which means there is no automatic right you have to close on time or both parties will need to sign an extension but in the case in most cases we do have F3A as the option that is selected in the contract and what that provides either party based on the date that you fill in. So it could be seven days, 14 days, 10 days, however many days that both parties agree to. And this is a fine detail of the contract that a lot of times people overlook is what exactly do we put in there? Because if you agree to a 30 day automatic right to extend, that could lock you into that contract for 30 extra days, which you have no control over. Or if it's too short, three days, you don't doesn't give you a lot of time in case you need it. But what this F3A section does is it gives either party the right to sign a form saying that we are executing our right under F3A to move the closing date up to the number of days that is specified in that paragraph. So what's unique is everything else in the contract must be signed by both parties in order to amend or change the terms of the contract. This is the only thing in the entire contract where one party can sign a document and change a term of the contract. So this is important because sometimes there are things that are out of your control and maybe the other side may not want to extend. Say, for whatever reason, your loan is delayed by a few days and you just need two or three, four extra days in the contract to get closed, but the other side doesn't want to give it to you. You can execute your automatic right to extend. All you have to do is sign as a buyer and that will push the closing date out. The same is true on the sell side. If on the sell side, the movers are delayed and you need two extra days to get out of the house and get it cleaned, you can execute your automatic right to extend and move that date out. Important detail about this, only either side can use it once. Once it's executed, it's not like both sides have their own unilateral right to extend. So 
there's some confusion about that sometimes where if one side uses it the other side thinks they can use it and that is not the case only one side can use it and then it's gone and if one side uses it and doesn't use the entire time frame so say it does say 14 day automatic right to extend but one side uses five days and pushes it closing out five days and that's it you don't have the rest of the nine days left that you would if you use the entire thing so these are just important contractual details that you got to be aware of in the process it does come up very often where we do have to use this and there's sometimes there is either uh, and a lack of awareness that exists and it's and it's available to you or there's a misunderstanding of how you use it and then it creates some tension or debate amongst both parties when we get there so just a good reason to have a real estate professional that understands the contract advising you and letting you know what each section of it means but this is an important section section f is very important and it's got that little detail about automatic right to extend so if you have any questions about that you can always email me at dylan at buybigisland.com or book a meeting in the calendar link below or leave them in the comments we'd love to talk to you about it and help answer any of your questions and i always appreciate you guys watching i'll see you guys next week Aloha.